Today, we're diving into the unknown and trying Sea Trek for the very first time. Unlike scuba, snuba, snorkeling, or any other type of diving, this lets you literally walk on the ocean floor thanks to the 70 pound helmet that's on your head. So we're very excited for this one. Let's get into it. Good morning and welcome to Cozumel. We're very excited because today we're going under the water. Bit of a late night after quest last night. Cheers, cheers. We ended up, uh, quest ends at about midnight and we ended up staying out after that. So a little slow this morning, but he is keeping us all in shape. What a good worker. He's up early working too. Good work. Did you see his friend? He was napping. Oh, there was a napping one? There was a napping one with his feet crossed, having a rest. <laughs> What are we teaching the boys this morning? We're teaching the boys about reef safe sunscreen. Oh. It's reef safe, it's in the name. Alex says, what does that mean? Look, I care about our animals in our ocean and our reefs, but I care about my skin too. Yeah, well, if you, if you cared about your skin, you'd be using reef safe anyway because it doesn't have toxic chemicals in it. I don't think banana boat's reef safe, bro. Sorry, you can borrow some of ours. Signing our lives away here. What are we doing today? We are doing sea trek. So basically it's kind of like snuba, but instead of having the face piece, you have like a helmet like an astronaut. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. This ended up being such a fun experience. So the helmets literally are 70 pounds. Thanks, Diego. Appreciate your modeling here. <laughs> Dude. But they only feel like they're about 15 pounds when you're underwater. You get on the ladder, you kind of step halfway down, they'll lower it onto you, and then you can go down the ladder and literally walk on the ocean floor. Gravity just melts away. Honestly, it's a little bit awkward at first because you can't move around as, as quickly as you're used to, but once you get used to it, it's super fun. I recommend jumping. It feels like you're on the moon, but uh, you just kind of walk around in a line. The divers guide you around. They show you the sea life. Fish are very curious, especially when the snacks start coming out. All in all, very, very cool experience. I will say there were a couple of downsides. Number one is this location just didn't really have a ton to look at. Like if we had reefs or a shipwreck or something like that, it would have made it super epic, but it was still pretty cool to be down there amongst the sea life. The other thing was Chels has a deviated septum. She kind of struggles with scuba, snuba, pretty much anything that involves clearing and, and kind of popping your ears. So that's something to keep in mind if you suffer from the same thing. She still enjoyed it. It's just, you know, a little uncomfortable in some parts, but all in all, super fun and super accessible. If you're nervous about scuba diving or snuba or anything like that, this definitely makes it a lot easier for you. So uh, after we were done here, we headed back to the port, but we could not leave Cozumel without our favorite stop, a visit to the legendary Blue Talk taco truck, which is just a short walk away from port. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> Let's go. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Does it hit? Does it hit? Is it good? good? Yeah. Yeah. I can feel that hot salsa in my nose. Like my nose, my whole nose is tingling. It feels like I got sunburned. I'm sweating. It's gotta clear up the sinus. This is, it's, it's hot outside, but I'm sweating from the heat from the tacos. They're so good. I'm, I'm really happy for you, honey. And it was $22 for 11 tacos and four Cokes. Four real Mexican Cokes with the real sugar. Delicious. $22. How is that even possible? This no elevator rule really hits at the end of a long excursion day with swimming and everything this else. This is the only time that I hate the rule. I think I'm still working off all the cheese I have <laughs> Griff, those tacos are gonna be coming out here soon. Oh, gross. Oh my goodness. That wasn't even that long of a day, but it just... When the sun is out like that, it's just totally... And you're just constantly moving. Oh my god, it's an octopus. That's it's cute. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had an octopus. Look at the little eye. Oh, we've got... Thank you for being totally awesome. We know how much you love sea days. Now you can carry a little reminder of this president's cruise every time you hit the pool deck with this souvenir tote bag. That That's is cool. That's so cute. Like we mentioned in our president's cruise video, the little gifts and surprises every day were one of the best parts. We wanted to take a nap, but Moet had another soiree complete with ice pick challenges and Lincoln the champagne sniper. <laughs> Accuracy when it gets up here. It's in my eyeball. I love how we were 
just in the room thinking we were going to take a nap, and now we're here getting showered in champagne. Only on Royal Caribbean's President's Cruise. We're looking for her contact. He sprayed the contact out of your eye. Here, 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 here. Oh, oh wow. look at that. Between this and the garden party earlier in the week, Moet certainly knows how to have a good time. We had a delicious dinner at Jamie's Italian and then went to the Shaka Khan concert. Now, I'm going to be honest, she's a little bit before our time. We knew like one or two songs, but it was a great time. <laughs> Our night was not over. We threw an elevator party for the date change for Royal Caribbean's TikTok. Ben gave the cake away to random guests. Happy before we knew it, we were on our final day at sea. Good morning and welcome to our final sea day. The Royal Caribbean social team is giving away a free inaugural cruise on Icon of the Seas. And we think this is gonna be our spot. This is Alex's genius hidden cam. You wouldn't see the camera, right? It's really hidden. Yeah, I can't tell them that that's something hiding at all. It's just a napkin on a cup, inconspicuous as can be. We would be better off having somebody having a drink Yes. Well, somebody's going to be sitting here with a phone, so. I don't know if this is needed, but we'll see. So we've decided we're going to make it look like somebody was working here and just left it in a hurry, and then I've got mine up there. The duck is going to be right here. Duck is in, duck is in, duck is in. Okay. First person to pick that duck up gets a free cruise on the inaugural for Icon of the Seas. We're just going to sit here and chill. Hmm. Missed opportunity there. Another couple has walked by. Missed opportunity. Chelsea, there's the cutest little kid coming over the bridge. He's looking for ducks. Oh my gosh, please take a right. They're, they're actually looking for ducks. He's looking. Oh no, 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 no. Come back, little dude. Come back. It'll be the best duck you ever found. Your parents are going to be so happy. So if you guys don't know, cruise ducks are a major like theme or, or pastime on Royal Caribbean. People will hide little rubber ducks around the ship. And typically they don't come with a prize, but it's just kind of a fun thing. Like kids get into it, adults get into it. You'll put tags on them with your name or a saying or advice or you know the name of the cruise and things like that. So a lot of people look for ducks in Central Park, which is why we're hiding it here. She got it. She got it. She got it. She got it. <laughs> this is what we love so much about Royal Caribbean. They give back so much. This is going to be a five second bit in a TikTok, but just made a family's week. All smiles. Just love it. And you know that President's Cruise had to end with one last outrageous surprise. All week, the president and CEO, Michael Bailey, has been wearing the royal bling. It's this gold and diamond encrusted Royal Caribbean logo chain. Only 11 will ever be made. He has one of them, so there's 10 available for purchase by guests. We went to the launch party for this chain, and they shouldn't have let me wear it. Oh my goodness, the drip, babe. But, oh, see, I wanted to sit up here. Look at that, that's that's pretty sick. Turn a little bit, just kind of turn back and forth. Wow. It does look cool. You know what it reminds me of? Huh? It's like when you go to Disney and you buy the Mickey Mouse ears, and then you get home. You're like, why did I buy these? Alex, <laughs> what, what did we do? <laughs> um, this might be the smartest <laughs> and dumbest Worst purchase ever. <laughs> Ah, the Bling Brothers. The Bling. I don't think anything smart happened just now besides... What? <laughs> I think You better make be me feel better about myself. One day when he dies, that we're going to bury him in the chain. It's yes. the same for you. Oh, 100%. 100%. It's, 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 it's an eternal chain. It's going to be a great heirloom. It's going to be a great heirloom. You're going to pass that down Here's to your what, kids. Here's what I have to say. You only live once. YOLO. When yeah. moments like these happen, you have two things to think. One, you could die tomorrow and you never bought the chance. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, 
You could buy the chain and be happy. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Perfect. And three, we can go to the casino in the chain and win it back. Yeah! Yeah! We're putting it on black. <laughs> oh, you just put the chain on the table. Hey, let's put it on black and then... And then Double this chain. Put, Double it and then we just... Free chain. We just... Free chain. Free chain. <laughs> what <laughs> did we do? Don't say we. <laughs> Wait, this actually looks so sick. I get the $500 gift card, right? Uh, yeah. We, we got all the perks with it. We got we um, all the, perks. the inaugural on Icon. We have a VIP cruise, which we're going to go to. You know this came with a trip to New York, right? You can yes. Get that. Oh, that there's, too. There's a trip to, to the Effie Jewelry Store in New York. 11 of these will be made ever, period. And we have one of them. We have one. Alex has one. And Michael Bailey, the CEO of Royal Caribbean, has one. Does anybody else have one yet? There's not a single other person that's bought one. I like the logo, the Effie logo on the back. Did you notice that? Yeah, that's really cool. The sissy when her's mad. Uh, yeah, it's like a yelling, a yelling cat. This. I think you should get ambassador on, like on it. En engraved, yeah. I think you should. Like on get the side or maybe on the I front. Th I think right on the front is sick, like, but. That is is absolutely unbelievable, ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense. There's no reason to do that, but we did so. This is also pretty cool. Nice job. Um, came into a present. Oh, is this like a koozie? It holds a 12 ounce slim can or a glass or aluminum bottle. Look at that. That's oh, it's a cool. beverage cup too. What? Four in one beverage holder. That's cool. Custom Royal Caribbean President's Cruise 2023. Look at this. So this you is can. Legit. It has a lid. You can actually put the liquid in there or you can put a bottle in there and it's going to keep it cold. Every single day this week, there's been some sort of a new surprise, some sort of a new activity, some sort of just like. It's been ridiculous. It's been really, really nice. I feel like we've all been very, very spoiled. Spoiled. This doesn't even include all of the events that we've gotten gifts at. Right. Not just us, everybody on the cruise. Speaking of events, there's one coming up. I'm really excited to wear our Fiesta gear. We've got a Fiesta in the promenade, balloon drop, and then from there we are going to Sabor again, which we're yeah. so excited about. And that's our final like Wait little wrap party hangout. Wear. It's pretty legit. I don't. I haven't even seen it. So this might be the end of the series, but fear not because we have more cruise vlogs coming soon. We have Norway coming up. Yes. And we may be extending to do some more Europe. So we'll see we're what not happens. Sure. We'll find out. But this channel is back in full force. And something I'm really, really excited about, like all the cruising, all the traveling is great. I really want to do some more stuff at home. I want to do things around the house, around the lake, around the theme parks. I, I want to have some more like travel vlogs are great. Yes. But more just real life stuff. We're going to get our house and our yard done. Yes. So we're, we're going to work on that. I don't think we're going to be able to daily vlog, but to get like maybe two per week, three per week, something like That'd that. That'd be cool would be ideal. So you if you guys like, want to see that, let us know. You just started while we were gone. What? Food and wine festival. Wow, that'll be fun. Maybe that'll be our first one. So we're gonna go enjoy this night and we'll see you guys. Later.